Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. So here is our chart. Our matrix chart, you can change the name here. Uh, and now you've got data points that are fa falling into the middle of the circle. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Knowing that you care enough to support me is appreciated. So we're going to start looking at the issues. issues. We've already brought the data in. We have a score of 1 to 5 for likelihood and for impact. Uh, we've got the issues listed as well. You probably are going to have other dimensions that you want to consider, such as department, facility, project. But we've got the data. We're going to keep it simple. So now we're going to keep, come to Sheet 1. And now we're going to go under Map, Background Images. This is where we're going to pull in the chart, the actual matrix. This only shows one data source, risk issues, because we only have one data source in this workbook. If you have multiple data sources, you might have a list, and that will be important. You're going to want to align the image with a particular data source. So we'll select that, add image. We're going to browse, find this image here. That's one thing that's a little bit hard, was hard for me at the first, was realizing that you're going to have to create the image in some other application. I haven't tried it. I've talked to other people who have tried creating this in Tableau, this matrix, and it just doesn't look as nice, doesn't work as well. I'm on 2021, I believe. So here's the fields we have. We have a likelihood, and we're going to want to change this to impact. And we want to change this from 0 to 5 and 0 to 5. Hit OK. And you'll notice that it says valid is no. And that's because we don't have anything up in these columns or rows. So click OK. We're going to move the impact. And I probably have this wrong in terms of which direction. And what you'll see is it's in the lower left hand corner. And we've got a dot way up here. Well, the problem is that it is showing all of the impacts added together and all the likelihoods added together. And that's where we get the one data point. To get it broken out and to get it inside this matrix, we're going to need to bring the issue under details. And now you'll see more of what we were expecting to see. We have this 6 over here and we have a negative 1 here. So we're going to want to go in here and edit the axis. We're going to change this to fixed. We're going to just call this from 1 to 5. I may change this later as we get playing with it. It may end up needing to be 1 to 6. And we're going to change this as well from 1 to, one to 5, I think is what I said. All right, so now we've got a chart that looks, doesn't quite look right, does it? So let's go under Map. Background images again. We're going to select this and we're going to click Edit. And it seems like as soon as we... I think one of the issues that I was running into is this checkbox. I, it was After I made some changes, the checkbox wasn't clicking. So we'll see if that does the trick. We're going to come here now. We're going to change this to 1 to 5. Got those. Let's see if we can change this. One to five. And actually, you know what? We want zero to five. Sorry. And so now we should have a five by five. Five by five. Perfect. So what we have for this data point here, actually let's change these axes here so that this is column one, the one lines up with the column one. And so what we're going to do is come here, edit the axis, tick marks, and we're going to do fix. We're going to start this at point 0.5. And it says enter a valid number. 0 0.5 is a valid number. However, offline I did some research. The issue is that this impact and likelihood are not decimal numbers. So if you come over here and you left click the arrow, it says 
whole number versus decimal. You just need to come up here and select decimal. Tableau thinks it's doing you a favor because the numbers came across as whole numbers. And now we should be able to come in here and change that to 0.5. And that's what we want here. And I'm going to show you why that is. Oops. All right, so you see these columns are now lined up 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 4.5. What I want to do, um, actually before I do that, what I should have done is we're going to be wanting, we don't want these, I don't want these issues to be right on the, the line. I want them to be in the middle. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create a duplicate of this. And we're going to create a duplicate of this. In edit, we're just going to minus 0.5 just for graphing purposes. And we're actually going to move this up here and move this up here. And remember the issue that we ran into is the map is associated with the wrong not the wrong one, but a different item. So we just need to change this to likelihood, of the copy. I've actually called it before, you know, graph, likelihood for the graph. Check that mark to show that it'll come through. And so now these dots are where they we want them to be. Of course, we're going to have to go back through and change the, the formatting. The fix we're going to keep it 0 to 5 just in case there's a problem we're going to now come here 0.5 and the 1 which is good now we're going to do the same thing over here we want to keep this actually we're going to keep this 0 and 5 the issue may have been the chart the picture underlying picture itself might be slightly off so we'll change this to 0.5 and interval of 1 all right now we say, well, this doesn't, I mean, you highlight, it says 0.5. What we want to do here is we're going to change, we're going to actually, we'll come up here and change it here. We're going to do the format and there's an option for axis under scale. And we're going to say number, no decimals. Okay. And now it lines up like we were hoping. And we'll do the same thing here. Remove decimals. And so now these are lined up right. Watch for my follow on video where I can show you how to add jittering so that they're not all on top of each other if you have the same likelihood and impact. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.